Hi folks, welcome back. Um, I want to explain a couple of things to you. I told you to do one side, but you're going to have to do both sides, uh, the same depth on either side to cut it away. Now, I've been using the ammonia and water because my piece is a little bit hard and it does cut like butter um, if, if you can spray it. The only thing w with what happens if you spray it too much is the fact that you'll end up possibly not seeing a line. Let me demonstrate. This is pretty wet right here. If I put a line across, you see how we can't see that line? Okay. I'm just showing you that, okay. On a dry piece, like this, if I put a line, you can see it, okay. But because it's wet and it swells, you will not be able to see that line. So if you have a lot of stop cuts to make on a carving, you don't want to make it too wet. What you want to do is take this thing and put it in a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag overnight, and then you'll it will be nice and damp, not not super wet, but um, it will be damp for you to uh, to cut with, especially if the wood's really really hard. Okay. Um, or if it's a large piece like this and you've got lots and lots to take off. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to tell you. The other thing I wanted to share with you is the fact that I had a, a, a individual ask me about uh, how she was a new carver and she was gouging all this stuff where her stop cuts were. How to avoid that? I'm going to share with you how to avoid that. See I have very little. You can see that. And that only comes with a lot of practice. Um, when you make your stop cut, like what we're doing here, okay, you just make your stop cut, just as you see, and then you take the knife and gently, gently try to go out a little further than where the cut is and kind of follow it around, okay, and then try to pull it out, okay, try to pull it out. And you, you won't get that stop cut, you, then sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Uh, so that's part of the secret is just taking your time and then doing another sliver. Just not pushing that knife, that, that tip of that knife is going to go all the way through as you're cutting it across. That's how you avoid those stop cuts. I know new beginners have a very tough time doing that. And we as um, seasoned carvers still end up doing it, but we're a little more cautious and with how much pressure you put on that knife as you're, you're cutting that stop cut. Okay, one other thing is um, when you when you have a large section that you have to cut out, see how even that is right there? And this line going across. My cut is even all the way around. Um, we have a tendency when we cut is to cut in like this. Okay, try to keep your knife as flat as possible and as straight as possible down uh, if you can help it. Um, that also comes with practice because sometimes if you're doing a deep stop cut like this will be even further in than what it is now. People have a tendency of cutting it inward and that's just because if you look at how I'm holding my knife you can see where it's slanted okay and that's usually what happens people end up cutting it much much deeper inward okay this way not not flush where it should be where the original line was. So those are a couple of the little secrets or, or explanations on how to avoid some of those problems. First of all, you've got to keep your knife, when you cut it, make sure your knife is flush with it, okay? And maybe even just pull, pull on it just a tad as you're pulling it around. Um, that will prevent it from digging in inward. We have a tendency of doing a stop cut like this and doing another one. You'll end up having that line go in like this, okay? So that's one way to avoid it. Make sure that knife is flush or straight in. And, you know, look at it uh, frequently, you know, as you're doing it. Look at it and, and go around and look at it and make sure it's not digging in where you don't want it to dig in. Um, and again, if you're... you're um, block is too wet because you moistened it up with the alcohol and um, rubbing alcohol and water you're not going to see those cut lines like you would on a regular dry piece okay um, those are a couple of things I wanted to share with you and also how to cut that out without uh, doing it it's just a matter of taking your knife a little further away from from your cutting area 
and then pulling it out or recutting it and then pulling it out. Okay, you don't want, ever want to pry things out. So that's just a couple of things as we go along here. I'm going to cut a lot more off. So when we come back, this should be, oh, see how much more we have to go here. So maybe take another, maybe, uh, maybe a three-eighths of an inch off. Um, you don't want to go too far because this is where it has to start to get rounded. So you can see how far it has to go yet. All right, this isn't perfectly matched with what I already had, but um, it's fairly close. The reason I'm coming up with a little bit shorter, I don't have a block of wood that's wider. That's a nice piece. I had one, an old piece, and it wasn't good in the inside. So, um, you know, you can make it out of any kind of wood, really. Um, so, let's take it from there. So, don't forget to make sure those lines are straight. Don't dig it out too deeply. Don't put too much pressure as you're cutting around. And um, we'll take it from there. And then I'm going to start, see how much we have to take off of there? Quite a bit. So I'm going to keep taking this off a little bit more until we get to that, that size uh, there. All right? See you in a bit.